Yeah, totally. Just, just go kayak it by yourself. Great idea. Nope. Two minutes in already. Nine foot alligator. I ain't going. I'm going home. I ain't doing it. Let me tell you what happened. I went to the river. I was gonna go kayaking by myself, thinking it's gonna be relaxing and even meditating. But nope, that's not how I went down. Yeah, I put my kayak in the boat ramp, had everything I needed, had my bottle of water, had a banana, had my paddle. It was gonna be a good day. Okay. Everything was going good. I was paddling down the Wasissa River, the sun was shining, I took a breath in of that natural Florida air. That's when I saw the duck. Up to this point, I ain't think there was no predators in the water. But when I got closer to the duck, I realized I was horribly mistaken. All of a sudden, this gator just comes out of nowhere and puts the jaws of death on the duck and took him under, and it got real dead solid. And I was like... And that's when it occurred to me. Maybe you shouldn't go kayaking by yourself in the morning, ever, with gators. witnessed this duck get murdered and now I'm scared that I'm the one that's next. This gator was bigger than my kayak and I could fight no but how you, how you train to fight a dinosaur? I don't know. You ever get that woozy feeling in your stomach that when maybe you ain't make the best decision? Well there was a lot of woozy going on in mine. Finally I got back to the boat ramp but how do you get out of kayak and not have to step in water? Because by now, I'm scared of death. I don't even know what to do. Moral of the story is, I ain't going back. Because I ain't going to get put in no newspaper talking about Taylor got ate by a gator. Or Taylor's going missing. I don't even 